Hey guys, as you can see here, I uh, look completely different. I got my hair cut, finally. And you can see here the sides, things like that, because it was time for the hair to go. Um, yeah, uh, last Friday, last Monday and last Friday, uh, it was kind of like the last straw for me because... Um, where I work, I have to have hairnets, and we also have to have safety glasses. And um, unfortunately, also I had to, I, to, I had to do a job where I have to wear a special visor, and uh, I have to, you have to wear that when you're doing that kind of job. You have to have a special visor, and uh, like I said, I wear safety glasses, but I had to get new safety glasses because the safety glasses that I had on had worn out. Um, basically, the uh, nose pieces that it goes on the bridge of your nose, uh, basically, instead of going this way, it was like that way. So I had to get new pair. And so because that was a new pair, and then I had my hair in a ponytail because I had long hair and I had to put it in this ponytail because it has to go in the hairnet I have tried without tying it and it's just a hassle and then on top of which because my hair was going so long I had to wear double hairnets so put all that pressure on your head with the ponytail the visor pushing down on the ponytail the new goggles that are around your face you know because they're still new so you you have to adjust to them as they have to adjust to you and just so happened to be that time of the month again. So add all those facts together and you have a really bad equation. And it happened on Monday, which uh, the rest of the week wasn't so bad because um, I didn't have to wear the visor as much. I did switch out the new ones for old ones that were still good. They had already adjusted to my face and everything. So I switched them out. Only because I had to. I wasn't, you know, sorry. I'm not going to be in pain the whole time. You know, I understand that's part of the PPE. But uh, I have to be comfortable too. So I had to switch them out. And, um, you know, I ended up doing low ponytails instead of high ponytails to help out. So that kind of helped out a lot. And then Friday, I don't know what happened, even though I switched out the uh, goggles and did a little ponytail, I was still getting a massive headache on this side. And I have a history of migraines, so they're not fun. They're not fun. It's not fun. So I finally got a haircut. I tried to get a haircut on Friday, but the issue was uh, the uh, woman that I wanted, the stylist that I wanted, she was not in on that day. I tried to get an appointment yesterday, but everyone was booked. So, okay, so she's not uh, available, okay? Who is available that isn't such and such? I'm not going to say the person's name. But, uh, you know, they were booked and I was going to have to... Some were able to do certain things that I wanted, so it was best for me to come today. And I went and I came today and I got it done. This is the hair. Uh, I don't have the picture of the inspiration. Actually, you know, I'll have to find it on my phone. If I could find it on my phone, y'all can see my meaning. Where it at? Where it at? Here, here we go. Here's the picture. So as you can see, it's somewhat like that, except it's not dyed. And my hair is a lot thicker. Even the, the stylist who was styling it, she was like, uh, she was like going, you have really thick hair. Like, oh my God, it's thick. You know, and she was so happy when she did it. Cause she's like, I like the challenge. This is so cool. Apparently one of the other stylists wants her hair like this or, or she did a hairstyle like this and she loved it and she wants to do it again. So I'm happy with it. It feels a lot lighter. It feels a lot nicer. Not only that, it's March. So spring is coming, and you know what that means. Sometimes in spring, you're going to get that unexpected humidity. And then when summer comes, oh God. yeah, it's going to be bad. Um, 
And by August, it should grow up just a tad bit. Because in August, there's some stuff going on. There's some stuff going on. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Nothing to worry about, but really cool stuff. Ugh. And that's something that involves me having to wear a dress. But I have the dress. I just need to get shoes. I have the stockings. I have the dress. I even have the little blouse cover all over it. I need the dress. No, excuse me. I need dress shoes. I need dress shoes. I gotta find dress shoes because ain't no way in heck red Converse is a good way to go. And I don't think red dress shoes would be nice either because the whole dress itself is black and the little coverall is red. Um, which red and black, they do go together. So red Converse is going to make me look like a clown. I am not doing that. That's not right. So I need to find black dress shoes. Nice black dress shoes. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. That is all I got. But yeah. Um, shoot. Yeah, I got some shivers down. I got shivers. But um, yeah, all in all is good. Um, I did buy. Because I actually found out what other clock. Me. Cosplay I'm going to do finally, which really is simple. It's just a black t-shirt, uh, a black kind of like, kind of like a jacket, but it's not a jacket. It's like a shirt that has long sleeves and has the buttons. I have that one. It's green. And then, of course, I have jeans and just normal, you know, shoes. I had to get a black, uh, black pack, black pack, backpack. I had to get a black backpack. And I got it. And that's done. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, all in all, that's it. Yeah. I did it. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be it for... That's going to be it for me today. I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up. And also show you my new hairdo. Um, yeah. That's about it. Uh, yeah, so you guys have a good day. Uh, hopefully, you guys, you guys are doing well and being sick out there. And yeah, um, stay healthy and be safe. Bye, guys.